About four months ago, I uploaded a video by the name of Should You Join the Rebel Guild, promising to review the guild by the name of The Bloodlust if the video got 25 likes. And not only have we surpassed that like goal, but I've been constantly bombarded with requests to review the guild. So after much anticipation, here it finally is. How's it going everyone, my name is Omicron, and today we will be reviewing and answering the question, should you join the Bloodlust Guild? Guilds can be an essential part of the life of a Hypixel player. They make team games a lot easier to play and can arguably make the Hypixel experience more exciting and fun. Because of this importance, it's a good idea to consider all of the aspects of the guild you want to join before you join it. Today we will be covering those aspects in one of the top 10 guilds on the entire Hypixel server. The Bloodlust. As a quick disclaimer, this video is not a promotion in any way. I do not belong nor wish to belong to the guild The Bloodlust, and this video is merely an analysis. The Bloodlust was created on July 7th, 2014 under the initial name of Altitude. Featuring the prominent guild tag Blood, they currently sit at number 3 on the guild leaderboards, actually having surpassed Raid and Rebel since I made the Rebel Guild video. Their guild description on the forums describes them to be mainly a Bedwars guild that also plays other games on occasion. We will cover that later in the video. Currently sporting 116 members, this guild is at guild level 32 from the time of this recording, easily surpassing the requirements for a blue and a green guild tag in lobbies. While the member list is scrolling on screen, let's cover the more well-known players in the guild. The Bloodlust features two helpers by the names of Cake Gurui and Elfgang Bobbert, who is also a co-leader of the guild, as well as the YouTube rank Grape Applesauce. The entire guild seems to be run and owned by Smex, a level 80 MVP+, with a Bedwars win-loss ratio of 59.28 and a final kill-death ratio of 73.88. However, due to the anonymity of the guild's forum posts and Twitter, it is probably safe to assume that Smex plays but a part of what keeps the guild going. As far as the well-known players on Hypixel in general go, there are too many in the guild to list individually, so the scrolling guild list will have to suffice. The Bloodlust is also very active in GVGs, or guild versus guilds. They have currently won 19 out of 20 GVGs since their GVG log was made in May of 2018, up until this recording's date. In terms of application, the Bloodlust does not have any requirements for new applicants like Raid and Rebel do, but I will discuss why you should seriously consider before applying in a bit. Finally, the guild is very easy to contact and discover, having a guild discord open to everyone, a Twitter, and a YouTube channel. Now that we have all the background info out of the way, let's get onto some specifics and my own opinions. I can use one word to describe the Bloodlust, dedicated. The Bloodlust was initially at number 7 on the guild leaderboards after the guild update, but since then they have been able to climb 4 ranks without the max players in the guild. And they're still growing at an increasing rate, currently being only a million guild XP behind RAR, the number 2 guild. Their guild is also full of very active and very skilled Hypixel players. I could go over individual and average statistics such as kill death and win loss ratios, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, just to show you how dedicated these members are to Hypixel, I will give you this statistic. Out of the top 20 players who have the most achievement points on all of Hypixel, 8 of them belong to the Bloodlust. And out of that 8, 4 of them are in the top 10 with Dexys holding the most achievement points in all of the Bloodlust. Additionally, of all the random Bloodlust members that I clicked on, they all appear to have final kill death and win loss ratios in the double digits in Bed Wars. As for PvP skill, the Bloodlust is not known for being a PvP guild on Hypixel. However, I will add that because of their Bed Wars statistics and GVG log, it's probably it's probably safe to assume that they're good at PvP. Another thing that tends to sway people's decision on joining a guild is the overall guild personality. In my opinion, from the Discord and how the members act in game, it's probably safe to say that the Bloodlust is a very chill guild. I will mention that some of the Bloodlust members and friends of Bloodlust members that I talked to mentioned that there might be a little drama going on in the guild. However, this drama didn't seem to be detrimental in any way and seemed to be very minor in the guild's path. So it's probably safe to say that the overall guild personality of the Bloodlust is probably fine. So from all these statistics, I've come to the conclusion that the Bloodlust is an amazing guild to be a part of. With incredibly high stats, so many members, and very high levels of skill, I think it would be an amazing place to be. However, here we reach a little roadblock the application process. Since there are no guidelines that the Bloodlust follows for applications as far as I'm aware, this makes applying to the Bloodlust very tricky. One problem that many want to be members of the Bloodlust experience on the forums is that their stats are simply not good enough to compare to many of the other players in the guild. Chances are that most of the people watching this video do not have the statistics to suffice for the Bloodlust guild. So while there are no guidelines to their application process, I think it's safe to say that you need to be really dedicated, really active, and really good at whatever Hypixel games you play. If you do happen to join the Bloodlust, us, you'll probably have a great time. Judging by the current rate that they're increasing at XP, it's probably safe to say that RAR and the Foundation are in their sights. And if they maintain their activity and statistics, there's a very good chance that the Bloodlust will be the number one guild in terms of guild level on Hypixel. So in conclusion, should you join the Bloodlust guild? Maybe. 
I will say that non-toxic tryhard members on a Hypixel will probably have a great time in the Bloodlust. However, the sheer cumulative amount of achievement points, Hypixel experience, etc. that the guild has is kind of remarkable. This video should honestly have been titled less of should you join the Bloodlust guild and more of can you join the Bloodlust guild. So most likely you won't be expecting to get an acceptance to your application on the forums. But hey, maybe I'm wrong, go ahead and apply on the forums for yourself. I've linked everything down below in the description, such as the various leaderboards that I mentioned, as well as the Bloodlust member list. If you want to join the Bloodlust, I've also linked the Hypixel forum post that also features their Guild Discord, Guild Twitter, and Guild YouTube channel. If this video hits 25 likes, I will do a video reviewing the Foundation, the number one guild currently on Hypixel. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.